Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com, and this video is going to show you the step-by-step -step process that I use to create photo books to leave as leave-behinds for clients. Now, I love making photo books and giving them to clients after photo shoots because they leave a lasting impression. It's something that they tangibly have that they can hold in their hands that's going to remind them of the photos that you take, which means they're going to call you back to do more jobs. Now, what you're going to see is a pretty long video because I run through the step-by-step -step process from start to finish all the way through showing you how I go from a black, blank, not black, a blank canvas and fill in the photos where I think they work best to tell a photo story. This video could also help you figure out to where to put photos in your portfolio because it's about building a photo story. So what is the photo story that I'm building here? It's from a photo shoot that I did at Norman Porter where we did a five minute portrait, which you can click up on the screen right now to check that out, with an 80D, a Canon 80D, an 18 to 135 kit lens. So you can see the entire shoot that I did there. And now you can watch me lay out out the entire photo book from start to finish. So let's do that. All right, guys, before we put together the Norman Porter photo book to do the reveal and to make a cool book for my shelf, I want to show you something that I think you may find interesting. I want to go back to my old books that I've made. You can see that the first book that I made was on 11-5-2009. I didn't launch Frono's Photo until June 1st of 2010. So I have been making these Adorama Picks photo books since well before they became a sponsor of anything that I ever did. Well before I had a YouTube channel, well before I had a following. And again, this is not a sponsored video. I am going to give you a code for a discount but that's a code so you can save some money. So let's go back to the beginning here. I've already uploaded my images into a folder so we can get right to it. So photo books, I wanna create a new photo book. So here are my options. You can pick custom hardcover, which is what I end up doing because I want a picture on the cover myself. You can do fabric, die cut, leather, luxe, uh, genuine leather, all these different things that you could offer. Now, by the way, there's a code here, and I don't know how much it's for off of, but I believe it's just for the custom hardcover books and doesn't do the die cut leather luxe and the genuine leather, but the code is FROBOOKNP. The NP part is for the Norman Porter, but that's all capital FROBOOKNP, and it's a surprise amount of a discount off. So go ahead and try the discount because it's only available for a limited time if it works, you'll see what the discount is. And if it doesn't, that means go sign up on their website at adoramapix.com to be notified when they run new specials. They're running specials all the time. Anyway, so you have different size books. You can do squares, landscape, portraits, horizontal, spine. I go with portraits myself, but I go with portraits 12 by 9. Now, why do I go with 12 by 9? Because 12 by 9 opens up into a 12 inch tall by 18 inches wide, which is a full frame, non-cropped photo. So I love that for two page spreads. Uh, it's selected to luster. You have high gloss, silk, weddings, and so it really tells you what would look good on it. Linen, pebble, deep matte. I go with the luster. The luster looks perfectly fine to me. Uh, one thing I have noticed with the books is that there must be something in the paper they're using because they're using a special paper uh, for photo books that's, I believe, a little thinner than the regular stuff that comes out. I've noticed that it, it doesn't look as sharp as I really, really want it to look, but most people don't even notice that, that look at it because they're not looking at it as close and as finely as I am, but I still keep ordering them because I absolutely love them. So, Luster, let's see, choose from premium designs? No. Build your own book is what I'm going to do, but if you have a, a, a book building software, you can go ahead and upload a PDF that you exported from the software in one fell swoop and you're good to go. But I'm going to build my own book and I'm going to go ahead and hit build book. Now, remember, this is going to take a while, so... I'm just showing you the entire process. I figured I'm going to make a book anyway. I might as well show you the entire process. So what do I want to do here? I want to get project images. So I have images from order. I didn't order anything. Let's see. Nope, not this one because I uploaded something else. Back to galleries. Oh, it's under Norman Porter. Let me see if that one photo that I did, yeah, because I uploaded a cover, and I'll show you why later. So I'm going to add all to my photo book. I'm going to hit OK. So what you're looking at right now is a cover, and it looks like it's 20 pages. 
yeah, up to 20 pages. Now I can make some changes. Let's see. Where did I want to go? So this is the cover. I'm not going to start here. I would start with page one, and I want to start finding photos that work well. Now I've got the two-page spread, and I'm also going to do some verticals. But remember, verticals on a 12 by 19, so 12 by 9, isn't going to be full frame. So I'll show you what I do to make a white border there. So if I want to start the book off with something like this, I drag it here. I want to spread the entire way. It's telling you that this zone may get cut off. It doesn't get cut off. It's still 12 by 9. So I have to come up with the story here, the story of the guy making jeans, of Mike here making jeans. And if you haven't seen the five-minute portrait, I've already linked to that before. You can go see that um, where we did it. But this is about tell you got to look, this is the gutter. The gutter is the middle. So that's where the fold is going to be. And you want to go to the next page? You can go like this, and I'll be like, um, maybe I'll do a wide shot like this and make that go full page. And yeah, his face is going to be in the gutter a little bit, but I like the fact that this tells a story. But honestly, I wonder if I should start with him sitting instead of using this and maybe do that. Maybe this is the first page, starts from a distance, and then that becomes a second page. Though I don't think it is because this happened first. Like I said, th this is a long process. You're building a book from scratch. Uh, it, it takes practice. It takes time. You have all these different things on the side here, different colors, different frames to use. You could add text, stickers, a lot of cheesy stuff that I personally don't add. Here's something I do add are end pages. These are the things that when you open the book first, it, it means that this image right here isn't printed on the inside cover. It's a waste page, but you can set that. I love it. I said end pages. Oh, and I turn off the Adorama Pix logo. I don't want that. I want to find a a pair of jeans color. So I'm going to use that for the pair of jeans color that you would turn the book and have it. So I'm just going to start laying out images and see if I like it and see which images work out the best before I um, get to the very end. <sighs> it's not easy, guys. It, it really isn't easy figuring out what pictures work best. Like, does this picture work well? Is this even a good picture to have on there? I don't know that this is a good picture to have on here. So it starts off with something like this, moving to a wide shot. Then we could move in a little closer. Let's see what we have. See which ones I really like. I mean, I love this photo. I love what's going on here. Oh, by the way, I'm going to hit save. I, I want to save what I've done so far. That's a cool photo. So we've got him cutting fabric out or denim out. Then he's laying the strips for the fabric. What did I do? Something's weird. Oh, I'm like, that's weird. Never mind. I didn't, I didn't get rid of that picture yet. Oh, no, I screwed something up. Real time here. Looks like, looks like I replaced something real quick. How did that, how did I manage to do that? I don't know. I'll have to watch the replay back and see what happened. So there we have that. I'm going to move that back into place. You can see drag and drop. Boom. Boom coming to here then we could move to oh I like where this is going let's see we just did that and you can see the check marks here for you for the ones that you've picked oh, don't want to do that I want to get onto the page that I want and I'm just testing out to see which images work the best for me I don't know that this image makes any sense on this page. Or does this image work better? You've got that. You've got that. So you've got some this going on. I wish I could see these larger. I wonder if there is a way to do that. Like I'm double clicking on them, but nothing's happening. So I'll just use the I'll just use this area as a uh, See, I love that because of the steam. Let me just see what the next one looks like also. I wonder which one's better. The one with the steam? I like, I like the one with the steam, plus you got the hand movement. But I want to see what this looks like. No steam, but 
but the hand is rested. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, McDarn it. Darn it, darn it, McDarn it. I think I have to go with the hand outstretched, even though this one has the steam. Shit. I like the hand outstretched. Do I have any other ones with steam? Uh, see, nobody would know the difference that if I didn't steam. Let me see where it's. So that's his face is gonna get cut in the gutter right there. And with this one, his face is more in the it's his in his face is in the gutter here. Like I said again, not a short process. It does take time to come up with a book design. And I'm just doing it in real time. So I'm gonna go with this one. This is one of my favorite shots, and I'll yell at myself for cutting off his fingers over here. There's a lot of horizontals. Horizontals were the name of the game on this day, it just seemed. Um, save. By the way, you could hit preview, and it gives you a running total of your prices. So I don't have anything on the cover. Then you can see that we've got the blue jeans on the inside. We go to this, that. This is going to be beautiful. That shot's awesome. I think that works well, too. I'm going to go with the steam one and a little bit of movement in the hands. And then this just because I like that shot. And then there's more. Return to edit. All right, let's see what else we have here. What's cool is we have a lot of different looks to use. And, what, and what's awesome is you see that he's on the left here. Well, the next image is I have him on the right. So let's see which ones work out the best here. I think these are going to be very similar between these two. So there he's steaming or ironing. I think I'm going to go with the ironing just because of where his arm is here. Yeah, I think that works better. And you can see his tattoo. Ironing. Let's go to the next page. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure that these are going to be needed, even though that's a good damn picture. It's possible that I can move these in somewhere else. I like that. Is that better than the black and white? They're similar, but I like the color right now. So I want to fit this inside. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it here. What I mean inside is that, remember, he's on the right side of the frame here. He's on the left side of the frame here. So it's building a cohesive story. So we see that he's got the iron. The iron's there. He's using it. He's laying stuff out. He's now using the iron here. That picture may come out. So, ah, that works. That works. You got ironing, ironing, reaching. But this, being that it needs to go before he's ironing, <laughs> this, is, this is it. I mean, this is how you build a book. You have to think about this stuff. It's about a cohesive something that you're creating, and that's why it has to tell the story. I love photo stories. And this is, you guys should, this is all also good for building a portfolio, knowing what order they go in. Cutting into wider, into laying stuff out, into the, the, the iron is on, getting ready to iron something. He's ironing it there. Then we cut to the right side. He's get another closer look at the ironing. The iron is down as he's reaching out. And then this one is he's re-ironing. He's re-ironing. He's reaching out for something, and then he finishes the ironing off. So maybe we can say he's reaching for something else to then iron here. But that is what he was doing, so I'm not making anything up. 
I like to follow the storyline of how I took the pictures, too. Though I work this one in here, I think it works better inside than it does outside. Even though you've got this. See, we could try it. Iron to reach to ironing again to ironing again. Maybe it works better there. Iron to reach. Or does the reach just totally go? Does this picture not work? I mean, that is a possibility. I like this photo, but maybe it doesn't tell the story as well. Maybe it's not good enough. How do I delete a page? What I'll do is I'll just move it out, and then I'll, I'll do something. All right, so we got ironing to ironing, and he's ironing the clothes. I don't, I don't know, guys. I mean, not like you can give me feedback right here, because I'm already going to be done the book by the time you see this. Is this a good enough photo? Well, we'll leave it for now. We could always come back and get rid of it. I don't think it's needed. I think I'm going to have to pull it, because it doesn't really show very much. So we're going to pull it. So does this shot deserve to be in here? I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm going with it. I need to add some more pages, it looks like. Let's add 10 more just for shits and giggles. You can see this is already a $76 book. Um, I know I have a couple of pictures of him from behind where it says Norman Porter. So I have to decide how many of those do I want to use. I see another one a little later on. I, I, uh, actually, it's different than the other one because I'm, I'm using this. And, yeah, this is my microphone. It's part of the shoot uh, that he had. It on, and, look, Steven's in the background or Todd. I think that's Steven back there. I actually love this photo a lot. So he, yeah, yeah, interesting. Do we, do we move it here? Yeah, we do. We do move it here because that closes it off. That gives us that. And then this transitions to a new segment, which gives us a shot like this. Boom. Love it. I like that a lot. Then he's looking intently. I have a tighter shot to use. So boom, tighter shot. Wide angles, mediums, tights details. These are all the things that I look for when building a photo story when I'm shooting. You see the cohesive nature from what's going on during the five-minute portrait, which I even talk about. I know I'm going to make a book, and I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about my deliverable. So we have the black and white, and we've got this one. Does this one work? Is he s I think this works. Though I should probably cut to him sewing. God, these photos are damn good. This is going to be an expensive book, but it's going to be well worth it. The reveal is going to be well worth it. Black and white. A little tighter. Go a little wider. He's inspecting what he has. Which machine is he using for this, though? I don't understand why it's doing this. It's probably just their system. Is their system the best way to build a book? Not really, but it works. Uh, I've done some good things with it. It'd be much better if you had a building, a way to build the PDFs and upload it so it's already done. Um, let me load the... Oh, there it... Guys, I'm blind. There is a button right here to do this. Stupid me. It was there. This is a different machine, so I'm not going to use this right now. Huh. <sighs> So that was that. Oh, maybe I will use it because it's. Yeah, let me go with this one first. So we establish the scene. I'm kind of thinking of in, in, in terms of um, in terms of movies like making film. I got to add more pages again. This is what happens when you get two page spreads. They add a lot. Now we're up to a hundred dollar book. See? We're telling the story. I go from the medium to the tight. What else do we have? Oh, yeah. So 
I'll use that. Is this a good shot to use? I like it. Yeah, we're using it. We're using it. We'll see if we use this, though. Oh, God, I like it, too. Oh, I keep doing this to see the preview, but all I have to do is click on this magnifying glass. That one we may not need. Though I do like the story that that tells. What's this one look like? So that's very similar to this one. I may like that better, though. I may like that better than this super tight one, though I do like the super tight one. Watch this. So we came from here. We've transitioned to another station. We've come in closer. Closer. Into that. And do we go back out? Do we use this one? If I had to decide, I mean, that's a, that's a cool shot too. But I like this black and white. I want to preview the book. I just want to see it in book form. The cover we didn't do yet. Denim jean color for the insert. Starting cutting. Steam into ironing. Still ironing. Ironing but from a different angle. Then we got the back angle. Then we've got a, a scene transition into sewing on another machine, a tighter shot of what he was just doing, back into the checking what he was from a distance. Working close, working even closer. See, I just love this shot because it says Norman Porter right there. It still says Norman Porter there. This is a better shot. I'm just looking at where the fold is because, look, you can see how it's going to fold. Maybe this isn't needed, but I like it, though. Looking at me. Still working. You see him with the scissors. All right. I mean, it looks good. Return and exit. Save. I'm a big fan of constantly saving. Back to the images. We do not have one vertical shot in this book just yet. And in order to do a vertical, I kind of need to find two that go hand in hand so I can put one on the left and one on the right. Just looking. Aha. Uh -huh. I've got something all the way a while back uh, that I need to. Yep, I got this. Um, all right, I have to find where this is. Layouts. One photo. I got to find one that's uh, full full frame without any of this other garbagey stuff. I think that would be this one. I'm holding down the shift button. Actually, I want to check something real quick. Hold on. Okay, I wanted to check something. I grabbed one of these books that I already made um, from Adorama Picks because I want to see how I did the verticals. It looks like this is how I did the verticals. So I, I left the white border because, well, these look extra sharp. These are super sharp. 
I don't know what I was talking about earlier, but these look awesome. Maybe they made some changes from the time they used this to the time they used the other. Uh, these look awesome. Anyway, this is what I have to do. I have to get this two-page spread. I have to get this. So let me let me delete this real quick. Pop this in here. And maybe I just left it with this and didn't make it any larger. So what I could also do is mirror spread. No. Mirror spread. Control C. Control V. No. No, I don't want to copy to all. Uh, copy. Paste. Why is it doing that? Like I said, I want to be on this side. Anyway, I could just do this. There. Now I've got this. I've got two verticals. Go back to the images. Boy, that was a pain in the butt just to do that. But oh well. It happens. But I want two verticals that are around being at the sewing machine. So here we go. We have one here. Drag the image. You've got that. Though he's looking the, with the window, I may want to put him in the other one. What does this button do? No way in hell would I do that. That's backwards. But I'm trying to put it on the right-hand side. All right. We'll just drag the image this way and then let's go to the other verticals that are actually near the end but they would fit perfect either this one loading slowly oh actually that's good and what's the difference between this one his head is i think more down so i'm going to go with his face here Yeah, and I know where this can transition to. So we've got those two there for the horizontal, sorry, for the verticals. We can go here. Just looking at my pictures I have to choose from. I think I'm missing one I need to have. Oh, nope, there it is. All right, I found it. Mm, the God, that's good too. So what I could do is we have these two. So he's, he's sewing. What was he doing in the one prior? He was threading or he was at a different machine. Now he's at this machine, which is this. This is the thread I wanted. Yeah, I want that. I definitely want that in here. But I have to decide, should these be flipped? Maybe, because he's standing here getting the thread, which actually means one thing and that's this is these these are the logic in your in your head that you have to tell well no at first i was going to say well he's got you got to do this cuz you go from here this is a different machine to here but since he's standing up getting the thread ready sitting there to do it this works after it and that is not the end of the book let's add another 10 pages it's going to be like a $180 book by the time we're done with it, but I don't care. It's going to look awesome. It's still less expensive than a pair of Norman Porter jeans, which are $250, but they are awesome. What's this photo? So that one probably doesn't need to be used, but I do like this one. I do. I do like that. Moving on. Another one from back here. So we get to see the other side of the shop. So 
So I'm going to use one of one of these, either the tighter or the wider. I I think I like the wider, though this one follows the rule of thirds before. This one shows more of the scene, and I just like more of the scene. I do. Let's see, is this a detail shot that should be there? I, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put that in there. What's another couple dollars when you're having fun making a book? All right, so now we're getting close to the end. This is where it gets tricky. And I may not use all these because, the, check this out, these photos are awesome. And I'm having trouble deciding between the color and the black and white, and I'm not sure I want to throw both in there. God, but I, I love this. I, I, I now have an idea for how I could do it. I can pick, I can pick, um, I know how I can do it. I can pick one of each. But geez, do you go with the black and white or the color? Oh, look, there's a, even a previous button. See, I love the blue jean part. Nope, that doesn't look right. I don't think they work well together. I mean, I could just get lazy and do that, right? I don't know that I want to be lazy and just do that. It's my job to make the decision. I, I, I can't, I can't do that. I may just have to pick one of them. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I keep saying I know what I'm going to do. It's not that one. love that photo that may be our cover photo too by the way but I still want it in the book or is that better it takes time I know I keep saying that hmm Thankfully, there's not a lot more. I like that you can see him working in the background. I mean, in context, you know what's going on here, but I'm not sure that that works the best. feel that hmm. 
These are all very similar. I may just go with that. What I was saying is I'm going to move this. Because I know the color is going to be on the cover. Like this one is going to be the cover. Because it's going to look really awesome on the cover. But I like I like this one a lot. I think I'm settling on the black and white right now. All right, let's do this preview again. Remember, if you're going to do a book, use fro book NP, all one word, uppercase. Pro book NP. Uh, if the code is still valid, you'll get a uh, special surprise discount because I actually don't know what the total, what the actual discount is because they haven't made it yet. But that's the code. You'll get a nice discount. All right. Let's just skip ahead to this portion. Awesome. 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 Vertical. Vertical. That works hand in hand. Get the fabric, the thread in there for the details. Workbench. That's just a good shot. I love that one on the left, too. All right, let's return and keep going. We're almost there. So now the dilemma is where do you want the cut to be? Through the eye. This shows more, and this one was tighter. And that's right through the middle of the nose. I think I'm going to go with the tighter one. Though does that, does the lamp being cut off slightly? They're both just exactly the same. Window, window. Does this have no window? No, it's got a little window there. This has window on both sides. Yes, I keep going back and forth and doing the same thing. Wait, that one goes through the eye. This one goes through the eye. And this one goes through the nose. So let's go with the one that goes through the nose instead. I did this on purpose. Throw them off to the side. I think I like the... I think I like the color better. Because of the f difference in the in the shades of everything. So we may not need all these. Why don't you want to load? But I do like that one. Portraity one. This one may not be as good as that one, though. And then the final one is this. Like, which ones are the best? Oh, 
I really only need one of these guys. All right, these aren't needed. You can see that, that it's fine. It's not the best. I like that. I like the angle. I, I like the way he looks there, but I think I like the widest wide better. Even though that's good because of where it's cut, but does that refrigerator distract? Just added a couple more pages at the end, I think. <clears throat> Can't have all three. I can't end with that, though. I can tell you that much. Well, before I do that, I got to decide what I'm doing here. Let's see, we got hats up here. Shit. I like where this is going up here. Can't keep all three. You got to be realistic, right? So that's a cool look, but that's a more maniacal look. And only one of them doesn't run right through the gutter. And you also have his jackets back there. Boom, boom. Boom. I like the tones, though. Hit save before I screw anything up. I'm keeping them both. They're similar. They're both staying. All right. Let's hit save. Oh, we got to go do the cover. The cover is a whole different ball game, everybody. Well, I don't even know what all these buttons are. Hopefully I didn't screw anything up by hitting that. Let's go back to the cover page area. This is where the cover goes. You know that it's 12 by 19. They want it to be a little larger. I wish they had a... I wish they would give you this damn template to download. Not download the PDF that it, PDF that it says up top. But I wish they gave me the damn template so I could take that into Photoshop and make something. So instead, I went into Photoshop and I created a, a 12 by 18 size canvas. I laid the image out as I would put this in the middle because that's going to be the gutter and the fold. And I put my logo on the back. I'm going to move it up just a little bit. Well, actually, I already, I've already i already imported it. So what I end up doing, because it takes time, you put this here, you spread the two page, and I probably want to 
raise my logo up a little bit so I don't get it cut off. Um, so I'm going to raise it up to here. And then what I would do is export it and save it again. And if it's a little high, it's a little high. I'll save it again and I'll add it back. But this is pretty much it for the book. This is $141.60 it looks like. And then if you use the code FROBOOKNP, all capital, one word, you'll get a special discount if the code is still available. So let's, let's see. You have placed objects within the trim area. I'm aware of that. This is what the cover would look like. I think that's a kick-ass cover, though I wonder if... Though I wonder if one of those other photos, like this, would be a better cover. The only difference is if you start getting all like this with the cover. Oh, God, this could be a better cover. This has to be a better cover. The problem, the thing is, I like to do the two-page spread thing. Mm, but that would be a better cover. I'm going to have to tweak around, and then we'll have to see what the, the final results are going to be. Because that certainly makes for an awesome cover. That's got to be the cover. So I'm going to have to play around with it. Uh, I'm going to have to get back to the cover, but I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. Let's go through the book. Let's preview the book. I'm going to change the cover, definitely. All right, it's so loading, end pages, boom. Nice story being told. Yeah, I like that. That felt good from the wider to the tighter to the tighter. Like that we got some verticals up in there. Like that we got a detail shot right there. That's going to be the cover. And maybe I'll put some fabric on the back. Yeah, those two work together. And there you go, end pages. And right now that's saying it's the back cover, but I'll, I got to come up with something. Let's see, return to edit. I'm going to test it out. We'll see which cover works the best. <sighs> Actually, I could probably... No, I, I can't do that. I need to uh, do this. And I guess with the cover, you're going to have to get maybe a little crappie on the cover. Not my favorite thing to say. How do I add... I guess I can't do that to the cover. Mm. I can't build layers. So we'll call this that. Yes, this that. I'm going to go back and I'm going to spend some time on the cover. So I went ahead to hit order now. And then it shows it to me again. I'm going to hit order now. Boom. We've got the end pages. So it's telling me what the subtotal is. Luster, hardcover. I generally do add an 8 by 6 book. I actually I'm gonna add a, a bunch. I'm gonna order I'm gonna order myself two large ones. So one stays on my shelf, one is part of the reveal, and then I'm gonna order him maybe well he's got a brother that's part of the business. So maybe I'll order him I'm gonna order an extra couple of the small books so that they can give them to whoever they want to give them to. And if they want more, I'll order more for them. I quickly wanted to cut something in here because I forgot to mention it. Everybody always asks photo corrections. Do you add them? I do rather not. No, I rather not. I don't want them to color correct my images the way that I color correct them. Do I color calibrate my monitor? No. My laptop is color calibrated. My main desktop, I've never color calibrated it. It's an iMac 27 inch. One way you can test it out is you can make some prints, order it from them, or you could definitely get a, you know, get the color profile so that you have the same exact as their computer uh, as their printer I just personally haven't done that um, and I've had very good results one thing I want to remind you is that when you're looking at your computer screen if it looks bright on your computer screen you have to understand that that's because there's backlight coming through your screen when it comes to um, 
getting the prints made, they're going to come out darker. Remember, they will be darker because there's no light coming through the back. I do not add color correction. That's why I wanted to jump back in here and let you know. So that's it. You would add it to the cart. You would make sure you use the code FROBOOKNP, all one word, uppercase. Definitely don't. I don't want the Adoramapix logo. That's me personally. I don't want that. But use that code. If it is still active, you will get a surprise discount amount, whatever that amounts to be. And it's well worth it to use it. So, again, I've been using Adoramapix books since 2010, as you could see from, or was that 2000? It was 2009 when I started using it, well before Frono's Photo even started. So, this again, not a sponsored video, just showing you where I get my books made. I've been getting them made there a long time. I got them to give me a code. The code helps you um, get a nice discount, and that's what you have, guys. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this long-ass book-making process and what my whole process is going through my mind. I would sit here and do this. Oh, good. I could get a boutique box. Present your book in a beautiful archival box. Maybe I'll add a box. I've never added a box to see what that looks like. But I don't want a box. I want the book to be out and see the cover. I don't want a box on the... I don't understand the box. I don't understand the box. Um... If you haven't seen the five-minute portrait, just look for it up on the screen right now. I'll take you over to do that. There's also an editing video where I go ahead and edit all the photos that you can see. That's an hour and 30-some minute video. So this, again, is like four hours worth of content that I'm giving you for this one photo shoot. But if I'm going to sit here and make it, I might as well record it so you guys can enjoy it. And that is it, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments. If you like this stuff, leave comments. Please like it up. Please subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram, Jared Poland on Instagram. Follow me on Snapchat, at Frono's Photo. Uh, sign up for my email list over on the website. Um, buy some of my guides if this information helps you out. Buy the guides. That's how we keep getting more content to make because that stuff funds everything. Plus, you can learn something. All right, I'm out. Jared Poland, Frono's Photo.com. See ya.